Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dinkum video. So in this video we've got more tips and tricks for you that you may not have known about in Dinkum. So if you liked the video and found it interesting and these tips helped you out make sure you hit that like button. If there's any of these tips that you didn't know make sure you let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be very interested to see how many people did or didn't know about these little tips and tricks. And if you enjoy the content make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more Dinkum content. So without further ado let's get straight into the video. Hello everyone okay so let's get straight into more things that you may not know about Dinkum. And the first one to cover is about the miner's hat. So as you can see this miner's helmet here is nearly empty and I have a spare one here in my inventory. Now I'm not sure if this is a bug, it possibly may be, or maybe it's just a secret hidden mechanic. So once this miner's helmet has run out, as you can see here like that, if we just shift and left click the second miner's helmet we've got, as you can see here the miner's helmet is not pulsing. And normally it will pulse when it is using durability. But as you can see now, it isn't losing any durability. So basically this is an infinite light source, which is perfect for you if you're mining or anything like that. Or whether you're just adventuring the world in the dark. Now I'll leave the miner's helmet on while we go through the other tips. Just to back up my claims that it doesn't use any energy. As you can see, it's still not using energy as we speak now. Most people know about farm animals and that uh, ideally you don't really want a gate because they can escape. Now, most people know that you can use the emote here, the whistle, to lure your animals back to where they belong. But did you know if you're lucky enough to get the guitar, which can be found in the crypts in the deep mines, as shown here in this little clip. But did you know that the guitar has a couple of uses when it comes to farm animals? If we just open up this gate here, as you can see, they will escape. Now if you play the guitar, if you just left click, the animals will follow you when you play the guitar. So let's quickly close this gate. Now the other use for the guitar as well is you know when it comes to animals here, you have a hearts and a friendship level on your animals and you have to shelter, feed them and pet them. If you have lots and lots of animals, instead of going around and petting them individually, did you know that you can use a guitar to pet them all at once? And as you can see, once we play the guitar, you can see they have the little star animation. But the next tip we're going to cover is to do with mangrove trees. Now, I'm lucky enough to have quite a few near my village. I set my village in a prime location surrounded by plenty of biomes. But if you wasn't lucky enough to place your town near mangrove trees, mangrove trees are the only ones that don't drop any seeds, so you can't replant them. But what you can do if you want them a bit closer to home is if you find the swamp dirt like this and you dig it up, if you just place it down wherever you would like to, if you just place down a few bits of swamp dirt, once a few days have passed, you will notice that mangrove trees will start to spawn on that dirt. So although they haven't got seedlings or anything like that, you still can dictate where you want them to grow. So that's another little handy tip just in case you didn't know. Now for my next tip, it's about a hidden plant. We all know that we can get the desert rose pot as a gift. So when we place it down, we have a nice desert rose plant. Now you've probably been wandering around all the biomes trying to find where you can find this plant. And you'll notice that you can't actually find it. But did you know you can craft this in a secret way? Not via the crafter menu, but you can craft it. So what you will need is a wooden flower bed or an empty plant pot. You want to head over to the desert. And you want to find a stack of bones like this. Now if we place the wooden flower bed, as you can see here, we now have a desert rose plant. So now we can just pick up our flower bed and we have another set of bones here. So we can just pop our flower bed back down on the bones, harvest the desert rose and pick up our flower bed again. And that's how you can get unlimited supply of desert rose plants. And for my next tip is another hidden item. So everyone knows that you can get fruit such as the apples, the bananas, you can get the lime bushes. But did you know in the northern part of the map on these little islands here, you can find another hidden fruit. And that will be these here. And what these are, these are coconuts. So you can find a supply of coconuts as well. Now you're probably wondering what the coconuts are used for. Because as you probably notice if you get them and you come over to your grills. You can't actually cook them. You can't put them in your meals. But if you head over to the cooking table. There's only one recipe so far that involves coconuts. And that's for the lamington. 
Now this gives you a massive boost in health and energy. So if you can't get other necessary requirements, then that's probably what you'll use your coconuts for. Now it also says you can bury the coconuts. So if we just pop a coconut down here and we plant it, that will probably turn into a coconut tree. But I'm going to wait a few days and then I'll let you all know down in the comments what happens to my coconut. So the last tip we're going to go through is probably going to save you quite a bit of money. Now, no doubt we've all probably gone out hunting or we've gone into the mines, been overwhelmed by a load of animals or we haven't taken enough resources down and we end up either dying or we've used all our energy and we've ended up fainting. Now, as we all know, when you faint, you do lose some durability on the tools in your inventory, but you also lose dinks as well. So as you can see, I've got 13,000 dinks here. So I'm just going to use the rest of my energy up. I'm going to purposely make myself faint and you will see that we will lose a load of dinks. Okay, so a few actions before fainting. Now, obviously the best way to avoid this is to try and remember to put your dinks into the bank if you have got that far to unlock it. But if you've either forgotten to put your money into the bank or you haven't got the bank available yet, there is a nice way around this. So once we pass out, I will show you the way to escape this issue and to save you from losing dinks when you pass out or you die. So as you can see, we've passed out. So as you can see there, we lost 3,000 dinks. Now, the more money you have on you, the more you will lose. But there is an easy way around this. So I'm going to go about my daily business. And when we get close to using all of our energy, I'll show you the neat little trick that you need to learn to save you quite a bit of dinks and quite a bit of time. So as you can see, we're really close to passing out. So what you want to do for this nice little trick is you just want to left click on your dink and then you can put it in your inventory slot. And as you can see, we have 10,400. So when we pass out and we revive ourselves, you will see that we will lose no dinks. So we have revived ourselves. And as you can see here, when we open up inventory, our tools took another hit of damage, but we still have all of our dinks. We have the 10,400 that we put in our inventory. So there we go, everyone. There's more tips and tricks that you didn't know about Dinkum. Oh, actually, I just forgot. We mentioned at the beginning of the video about the Minus Helmet. So throughout all of these tips, and even when I've been passing out or things like that, I'm still wearing the Minus Helmet that I shift and left clicked. And as you can see, it still has a full energy bar. And you can also see that it's not pulsing. Just for added proof that this does work, I'm going to put this back in my inventory for now. We will swap it with the one that's sort of empty for now. And if we manually swap it back like this, as you can see, the icon for the miner's helmet is pulsing. And as you can see there, very slightly, the energy bar went down. And then if we swap the helmets back around again, and we left click our spare miner's helmet, as you can see, there's no pulsing, which means it's not using any energy. So there we go, everyone. There's more tips and tricks for Dinkin. If you did like the video and found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments down below if there was any of them that you didn't know about that will help you in your playthrough. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.